As you understand, it's very important to know phrasal verbs to make your speech natural and understand native speakers. This video is full of new interesting examples. Also have a look at our playlist on phrasal verbs. So as you remember, we have a great video, 250 phrasal verbs. And uh, also have a look uh, at the second one, 300 phrasal verbs in spoken English. But you know, this video is different. You'll see lots of interesting examples and you'll see new examples. So really, I think the more practice, the better. So if you have more practice, it's very good for your English, for your progress in English. And really, I wish you good English progress. Well, watch all this video. I really hope you'll enjoy, yeah? or you enjoy this kind of lessons. I really hope so. Well, so the first phrase of verb, go on, it means continue. So you can say, go on doing it, or continue doing it. It's the same, it's the same, okay? You say, go on doing, please, don't forget to use ing. Say, so go on doing it, go on learning English. So, go on, you know, go on watching this video. So, go on doing it, please. Don't forget about ING. And you also say, continue doing it. So, continue doing it, uh, continue working there, uh, continue helping them, and so on, okay? So, it's very important. So, we focus on phrasal verbs on English vocabulary and uh, on English grammar as well, okay? So, go on in the past is went on. So, you see, I went on learning English or I continued learning English. Yeah, you see uh, the same thing here again. So, go on doing, okay? I went on learning English and uh, I really hope that you like this channel and you'll go on learning English here, yeah, on this uh, great channel. Let me say so, yeah, English professionally, and you can write something positive in the comments below. Okay, thanks a lot for your support. I really need it. I really appreciate it. And, you know, we are going to look at the second one. Okay, get up, get up. So, I don't like getting up earlier, yeah? So, you know that you go to bed, you sleep, and uh, then you get up, yeah? You get up, okay? So, I don't like getting up earlier, yeah? We usually say like doing, I don't like doing, I don't like getting up earlier, yeah? I got up very early yesterday, and you? So, you know that um, uh, these examples are also uh, you know, for an English conversation, so it's a very good English uh, speaking practice. Uh, if you can also answer some questions using phrasal verbs, okay? So, and the first question for you is, would you like to go on learning English uh, here on this channel English professionally? Why? Why not? So you can write the answers uh, here. So it would be it would be great, really. And get up. So I have a question for you. What time do you usually get up? What time do you usually get up? Yeah. Okay. Give up. So he gave up smoking, or he gave up drinking vodka. Okay. We also say yeah give up doing, it means stop doing, okay? So, he gave up smoking or he stopped smoking or he stopped smoking. So, it's the same, okay? So, have you ever uh, smoked in your life? So, so have you already uh, given up smoking or maybe not? So, why, why not? So, yeah, it's an interesting question, okay? Well, and uh, you know that, um, really, I really know that it's difficult uh, to give up uh, doing uh, something bad. Maybe, you know, if people drink too much alcohol, it's difficult, you know, uh, to give up doing it. So, what do you think about it? So, is it easy or not uh, to give up uh, doing, you know, uh, something bad? 
So what do we need? Yeah, what do we need to do it? Okay, so what can you recommend? What can you recommend? Yeah, yeah, what can you advise? So if people, you know, if a person who wants to give up maybe drinking uh, alcohol on a regular basis, but he can't. So what can you recommend? So it's, yeah, these questions are very good for English speaking practice. Next, break down. Break down, we often use this phrasal verb. Yeah, talking about cars. His car broke down. It means it stopped working. So, so do you have a car? Do you have a car? So, so if so, if you have a car, so uh, does your car often break down? So when did it break down last time? So write down, write down, to write something on paper. It means to write something on paper. I'd like to write it down. Repeat it, please. Yeah, and uh, you know, I have a piece of advice for you. So if you, you know, meet a new word and you feel that this word is important for you, it's quite common or popular, so it's a good idea to write it down, to write this word down or to write this phrase down, okay? Why not? Well, next, wake up, yeah? So you know that uh, we talked about get up, right? So you go to bed, then you sleep, yeah? Then you wake up when you open your eyes, so your eyes were closed, then you open them, and uh, you know we call it to wake up. Yeah. So wake, walk, walken. Yeah. So I woke up very early. So this verb is irregular, irregular. So I woke up very early. And then I lay in bed and got up. So you understand that first we wake up and then we got up. Yeah? And what time do you usually wake up? Okay, stand up, stand up, and sit down. Two opposite phrase, two opposite phrase verbs. Yeah, you see that actually, uh, they have um, this opposite meaning. Two opposite uh, phrase verbs. Okay, I think it's enough. Two opposite phrase verbs. Oh, okay, so they have um, this meaning. So stand up. So, for example, I decided uh, to uh, stand up yeah, and uh, actually uh, to do what? Yeah, I decided to uh, stand up and uh, look out and uh, look out of the window and then I uh, sat down. Yeah, so stand up and uh, sit down. Okay, next, uh, grow up. Grow up. So, you know that we say grow vegetables, grow fruit without up. But when we talk about people, yeah, we say grow up. I grew up in America, yeah, for example. And you, where did you grow up? So in what country, in what city, okay? Go up, go up, uh, okay? So the price went up. It means uh, the price, yeah, became higher. So, for example, it cost, it cost, you know, uh, fifty dollars, fifty dollars. Uh, then, uh, then it cost. So you know that uh, this verb is irregular. Cost, cost, cost. Uh, then it cost uh, seventy dollars. And we can say uh, the price went up. The price went up. Or you know, we can also say it in one word increase the price increased increased okay okay well done next go down it's the opposite phrasal verb it means decrease decrease okay so the price went up yeah so it uh, became higher and then it went down it became lower so the price increased and then decreased well go out Go out means leave home, leave home. So he isn't at home, he went out, he went out. It means that he left home, yeah, maybe he went for a walk with uh, his friends. So maybe uh, he went uh, to a meeting, who knows, yeah, but he isn't at home. Okay, go away, 
or away, it has a similar meaning. Uh, it also means uh, leave home, uh, but you know, uh, usually uh, to a more distant place. To a more distant place, yeah, it's usually uh, you know to another city or town to a more distant place. Okay, so look, uh, they aren't at home. They went away to Italy, yeah, so it really, it's so far, maybe, uh, it's, they went away to Italy, call back, call back, look, I'm busy at the moment, I'll call you back later, I'll call you back later, so what does it mean? It means that um, someone uh, calls me, for example, I'm busy, I can't answer him, I can't uh, talk to him, and uh, so I'm going to call him back, yeah? So first he calls me, and then I'll call him, so call back. Well, hurry up, hurry up, yeah? So we often hear, yeah, this phrase, hurry up, or we'll be late, hurry up. It means uh, do things more quickly, okay, do things. Uh, do things more quickly, so hurry up, hurry up, yeah, or we'll be late, hurry up, or we'll miss the bus, for example. Next, put on, yeah, so it's, you know, when we put clothes, when we put clothes on our body, when we put clothes on our body, so he put on a very good suit, he put on a very good suit, okay? and uh, run out run out so we often use it uh, with money we often use it with money and uh, time and we often use our present perfect please uh, have a look at our playlist on grammar yeah on different english tenses on english grammar present perfect okay so we have run out of money we have run out of money it means our money finished, our money finished, okay? We have run out of time, so our time finished. We have, yeah, we have run out of money, we have no money. We have run out of time, we have no time. You see, have plus past participle, okay? Have plus past participle. Uh, this verb is regular, oh, sorry, irregular. Uh, run, I mean that this form is regular, it's like the first form, yeah? Run, ran, run. But basically, basically, uh, this verb is irregular, yeah? The second form is irregular, ran, run, ran, run. And, and you see, we have run out of time, yeah? We have run out of time, have, uh, plus, past participle, okay? So, and, um, so, you see, do you often run out of money? Do you often run out of time? Well, next. Yeah, so we talked about run out and let's talk about be out, be out. So he is out means uh, he is not at home, not at home. So he'll be later, he'll be later. Be back, yeah, means return, return, okay, good. So I'll be back soon or I'll come back soon, I'll return soon. Don't worry, yeah, they say don't worry, be happy, okay? So, be over, the lesson is over, the lesson is over, so be over means finish, okay? Finish, so the lesson is over, so the lesson finished, the game is over, the game finished, and we also, we often say game over, yeah, the lesson is over, so we use the form of to be, M is R, M is R plus over, okay? So if it's about the present, if it's about the present, so use M is R plus over. So the, le the lesson is over, the lesson is over, okay? So the game is over, or shortly game over. It means finish. Okay, well done, well done. So come back. Come back means return. I'll come back tomorrow, I'll come back tomorrow, or I'll return tomorrow. Get back. You know, I really like this phrasal verb, we often use it 
you know, when we want to talk about something again. So, for example, let's get back to this discussion a bit later, or let's get back to our conversation, or let's get back to our talk, let's get back to the previous point, and so on, okay? Well, turn on, turn on and uh, turn off, two opposite phrasal verbs. So, turn on the light, yeah? So, and turn off, so turn off, okay? And turn on, and turn on, turn on the light. So, the light starts burning, okay? The light, the light starts, the light starts burning and turn off the light. So, the light stops, the light stops burning, okay? And uh, we also meet uh, switch on, switch on, it's like turn on, you know, switch on the computer or turn on the computer. So, your computer starts, yeah, the computer starts working, so switch on the computer. Good, or switch off, switch off the computer. So, your computer stops working, okay? So, first you, you know, switch on, then switch on. First you turn on, then you turn off. So, and I have a question for you. Oh, so, when did you, you know, turn on your computer and when are you going to turn it off? Yeah, maybe you have great plans, you know, for today and uh, actually you're going to do it uh, quite soon. Who knows, yeah? Uh, try on. So, you often use this phrasal verb when you are in a shop, yeah, when you are doing the shopping, okay? So, I'd like to try on this dress. It means that um, you, you like to, you'd like to put it on your body and see how you look like, and see how you look like, yeah, you want uh, to buy it, and uh, really you want um, actually uh, to test it first, to test it first, so I'd like to try on this dress, I'd like to try on this shirt, and so on. Okay, I know that uh, actually you don't like um, uh, doing housework, I expect it from you, yeah, so please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, and really the next phrase of verb is wash up, yeah, wash up. She often washes up the dishes, yeah, so you see that uh, you eat, you have breakfast, uh, lunch, uh, dinner, yeah, whatever, and uh, your plates are dirty, yeah, your plates are dirty and you need to wash them, but, you know, normally we say wash up, wash up the plates, wash up the dishes, okay, fill in, yeah, fill in, uh, just remember this phrase, fill in the form, fill in the document, it means uh, to write uh, to write something, to write something, yeah, to write some information, to write some information. So, fill in the form, uh, fill it in the document, okay? Uh, come from, you know that we often ask, so very from, very from, uh, yeah, you see, and we can also ask where do you come from, so it means the same, so very from. For instance, yeah, for example, or for instance, so you know that uh, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, they say, for example, for example, but I just decided to use um, another phrase um, instead, it's for instance. So, for example, or for instance, it's uh, the same, okay, let me write for you, okay, for instance, or uh, for example. So, I think it's a good idea to make our vocabulary richer, really, let's widen our vocabulary. Well, so come from where? Very from or where do you come from? For example, I come from Brazil, or I'm from Brazil. It's okay. So the questions are in present simple, and you answer in present simple. Well done. So next, so check in and uh, check out. So you know that when you arrive at the hotel, so we call it check in. So we checked in um, in the morning. So we arrived, it means we arrived at the hotel in the morning and then we checked out and then we left the hotel and then we checked out in the evening, okay? Check in and check out to opposite phrasal verbs. All right, sort out. We often use, yeah, such a phrase as sort out a problem. It means to solve a problem. It means to solve, okay? It means to solve a problem, okay? I'll sort out this problem or I'll solve this problem. So don't worry, I'll solve this problem or sort out. Well, 
So break in, break in and break into. So they have a similar meaning. The difference is that uh, we say bre break into something. Uh, for example, break uh, into a house, break into a flat, break into you know some building or some buildings. Yeah, you see. So the thieves broke in. So what does it mean? It means that they entered the building illegally and uh, they wanted uh, to steal something. They entered the building illegally, they got into the house illegally uh, to steal something. So it's a crime, it's a crime, it's against the law. He was shocked and we say break into, yeah? So the fix, the fix broke into his house, it means yeah, to steal something, to do something bad. Okay, really, well done. Well, next put off. So put off has a meaning of postpone, postpone, okay? So don't put it off. It means don't do it later, don't do it later. So it's really time, it's really time to do it now, okay? So do it now or do it right now, don't postpone it. Yeah, but you know, this verb sounds more formal, so really. Okay, next, carry out, carry out, okay? So, we'll carry out a very interesting research. It means uh, we'll do it, okay, or we'll conduct. So, we say conduct a research or carry out a research, okay? So, we'll carry out a very interesting research or we'll conduct it. So, or in other words, we'll do it. Let down. Let down. So, this phrasal verb has a negative meaning. So, I won't let you down. I won't let you down, I promise. It means that um, I won't uh, do uh, something bad, I won't do uh, something bad yeah, to you. So you can count on me, you can, it means that you can count on me, you can count on me. So if I say I won't let you down, it means I won't uh, actually um, uh, do bad things uh, to you, you can count on me, you can trust me, you can count on me or you can trust me, you can trust me. Okay, trust, or there is another phrase which means more or less the same. So, do you know this phrase? So, trust or uh, rely on, okay, or you can rely on me. Well, yeah, count on, yeah, we just talked about it. You can count on me. So, it means that um, I won't let you down, you can rely on me, you can rely on me. So, and uh, I'll be a good friend, I'll be a good friend. Okay, next. Think over, think over. I'll think it over later. So it means I'll think about it later. So I'll think about it and um, I need some time to think about it. So and I'll decide whether it's bad or good, whether it's good or bad, okay? So I'll think, I'll think it over. I'm not ready to make a decision now. So I need uh, some time to think about it. Well, so speak up means uh, to speak louder, louder, okay? So speak up. I can't hear you well. Oh, I can't hear you well. Speak up. Yeah, I can't hear you well. So speak up. Well, figure out uh, means understand. I can't figure out how it works or I can't understand. I can't understand how it works. Well, come on. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. Uh, it means, okay, so don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, so do it. It's okay, it's okay, do it. Come on, do it. Uh, stand out, yeah? I, yeah, please remember this phrase. Uh, stand out in a crowd. I don't like standing out in a crowd. So what is, yeah, what is to stand out in a crowd? It means that you are very different. You are very different from other people. So I don't really, I don't like to uh, do something very different from other people. Yeah, so that um, other people can easily notice you. To standing out in a crowd, to be very different from others. Okay, uh, set up. So we say set up a program or install a program. Okay, so I set up a new program. So it means that there is a new program. Yeah and I can use it, and I can use it. Or we say set up a company, uh, set up a business, but I also think that it's very important to set up a very profitable business. 
where you can get profit or money, a profitable business, something very important. And I really hope that you perfectly understand me. Well, set off. Oh, we set off yesterday morning. It means uh, to go, yeah, to go on a journey. So we set off yesterday morning. So we went uh, to uh, some place, yeah, yesterday morning. Okay, break up. So it's about our relationships, yeah. So you know between a boyfriend and a girlfriend, or you know between a wife and a husband. So break up. So you can. You know, see or you can hear break up or split up, okay? So they broke up or they split up. So it means they separated. They separated, okay? They separated, okay? So they stopped being uh, with each other, stopped staying with each other. So, yeah, so they aren't uh, a boyfriend and a girlfriend any longer. They aren't, you know, a husband uh, and a wife any longer. So they broke up, okay? So it's the end of uh, their relationship. Well, so the next phrasal verb, look up in. So, yeah, this word is new for me. I look it up in a dictionary. Yeah, so we often use this phrasal verb in this context. So look it up in a dictionary. Okay, so, you know, students often say, okay, this word is new for me. I look it up in a dictionary. Yeah, we use it. So look uh, something up. Um, in you know in some reference material so look it up in the dictionary look it up in the dictionary please keep in mind this phrase it's very useful and uh, if you use it i really hope that you sound very natural okay break up and split up or split up we've talked about it and then bring up bring up okay so i was brought up by my uncle uh, it means that my uncle looked after me my uncle looked after me my uncle looked after me, okay, uh, he helped me, uh, he helped me uh, to grow up, he helped me, uh, he helped me, uh, he helped me to grow up, yeah, he helped me to grow up, uh, he cared about me, he cared about me, but not my parents, okay, so usually, usually our parents, yeah, bring us up, uh, but sometimes, you know, that uh, for some reason it isn't so, and uh, we see that um, uh, it's a different thing in this example, yeah? I was brought up by my uncle, but you know that our parents usually bring us up. Okay, well done, really well done. So, carry on. So, we say carry on or go on, okay? So, carry on doing it or go on doing it. So, I can say carry on working or go on working so it has the same meaning well catch up with catch up with uh, you know that yeah we need to look at this uh, situation okay I can't catch up with you I can't catch up with you you're running so fast okay really uh, I'm running very fast and you know my friend uh, tells me I can't catch up you so I can't you know run as fast as you so I can't I can't have the same speed and I can't catch up with you. In other words, I can't reach you. I can't reach you. I can't reach your level. So it means so, okay? Next, give away. I gave the toy away. So it means that I gave it to someone as a present, so I didn't need it, okay? Uh, give back. Give it back to me or return. Give it back to me. So give, for example, someone says, give my money back to me. And see off. I'll see you off you won't feel lonely okay we often you know uh, see someone off uh, when it's dark uh, for example you know that uh, one guy you know uh, met a girl they were together but then it got dark and uh, so uh, his girl yeah needs uh, to go home yeah yeah so it can be so and she's afraid it's dark and uh, obviously or naturally or clearly so her boyfriend uh, can tell her okay don't worry I'll see you off it means that uh, I'll go there with you I'll go I'll go to your house with you I'll go to a flat with you so I'll help you don't worry so I'll be with you okay well done really well done well so watch out so we often use it when there is a dangerous situation look 
Watch out, there is a car coming. Yeah, it's a dangerous situation. It means be careful, be careful. Watch out, there is a car coming. So please do something so it can, you know, hit you. So watch out. Come in. Yeah, so come in. Come in. This thing is coming in nowadays. So come in means uh, come into my room or come into my flat. And come in means um, to become popular. So this thing is becoming popular. This thing is coming in nowadays. Next, come out uh, means uh, appear means uh, appear, okay, appear or uh, publish, or published, or be published, okay, or be uh, published. So this book will come out soon, or this book will appear soon, or this book will be published soon. Come across means meet. I have never come across this word before, or I have never met this word before. This word is completely new for me, okay? Get across means uh, explain. I can't get this idea across, so I can't explain it to you. I can't explain it to you. Well, so we can say watch out or look out, okay? Look out, it's really dangerous. Well, find out. I'd like to find out the whole truth, or I'd like to discover. I'd like to discover the whole truth. Fallout means quarrel, to have a disagreement. So we often uh, fall out with each other, so we often quarrel. Fall down. Look, he fell down and hurt his leg. So maybe he climbed up, yeah. A very, uh, he climbed up a tree, and then you see that uh, uh, he fell down. He fell down and hurt his leg. So fall down. Turn up. Turn up means uh, to make it louder. To make it louder. Okay. So turn up the sound. Turn up the sound or turn up the music. So if you can't hear me well, you can turn up the sound if it's necessary. If it is unnecessary, so don't do it, okay? Turn up the sound, turn up the music. Uh, they turned up in the end. So, you know that sometimes phrasal verbs uh, have uh, more than one, you know, popular meanings. And uh, turn up means uh, make louder, the first meaning. And the second meaning, as you might guess, turned up in the end. It means they appeared. They appeared uh, in the end, uh, often unexpectedly or suddenly. Well, turn down, turn down the sound. So you can say it if it's, you know, if it's too noisy, if it's really so noisy that uh, you don't like it, you can say, turn down the sound, okay? Turn down the sound. Well, turn out. I turned out to be right. It means that I was right. So turn out uh, to be right, turn out to be wrong. It means to be right, to be wrong. So um, I was right, it means I was right. She turned out to be wrong. It means that she, in fact, in fact, she was wrong. Okay, put up, put up the price or increase, increase. Okay, they increased the price, so the price got higher. Put up with means tolerate, tolerate, tolerate. So, I can't put up with this injustice. I can't tolerate it. I can't tolerate it. So, uh, I, you know, I can't look at it. I can't look at it. It's difficult for me to look at it because it's injustice. So, yeah. Uh, put away. So, put away. I put, you know, I put this book away. So, it means that uh, in its place, maybe on the shelf, so where it's usually kept. I put this book away. Well, look for... I'm looking for my keys. So, so first you lose something and then you start looking for it. I'm looking for my keys. So, or what are you looking for? What are you looking for? So, it means that uh, I have this idea in my mind that uh, you lost uh, something. And so, my question is, what are you looking for? So, what do you want to find? What do you want to find? Look forward to. 
uh, means uh, to wait for something, wait for something, but not just wait, wait uh, for, you know, wait uh, for something, wait for something with impatience, with impatience, you really want it to happen, you really want it to happen, it's really uh, so important for you, okay? So I look forward to the next video on this channel, uh, good, I look forward to the next, the next video on this channel English professionally. Okay, look down on. Uh, it means that you don't respect, you don't respect uh, another person. So the boss looks down on his employees. It means that um, actually he looks at them with disrespect. So yeah, he has this feeling disrespect. So the opposite phrasal verb is look up to. It's when you respect, when you admire. I look up to my boss. He has achieved a lot. It means that I admire him. I really respect him and look up. Yeah, uh, look, uh, look up. Yeah, look up or look at the sky. Look up. Good. Look back. It means uh, looking. Um, you know, looking into the past, not into the future. So looking back on my life. So when I try to analyze my past, I can come to the conclusion that I'm such a happy person, really, I'm, I'm so happy, I'm such a happy person, and uh, do you feel that you are uh, a happy person? Why, why not? So, actually, what do you need to be happy? Do you feel happy? And look after uh, means take care of, take care of or help, take care of or help, okay? I look after my grandparents. I take care of them. I help them. And take after, so is means resemble. Ha, uh, you know that um, uh, to have a similar appearance. To have a similar appearance. So you take after your father. It means that you have um, similar features in your appearance. So you resemble him. Hold on means wait. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. And back up has a meaning of support. I'll back up this moment or I'll support it. I'll support this moment. Well, next, next, ask out. So to invite uh, to a cafe or a restaurant so that uh, you can eat out, so not at home. So he asked her out. He asked her out, yeah, to invite her to some place. He invited her to some place. He asked her out. Take over. The company took over that one. It means that uh, so it's one company now, and uh, you know that uh, big companies usually take over small ones, yeah. So you know that uh, big companies. Uh, take over lots of companies to be bigger and bigger, to be more successful and more successful. Uh, take back, return. So we often use it uh, yeah, when we are yeah, actually going to you know, visit a library or so. So I'll take my books back. I'll return them. Boil down. Or boil down to or come down to so it boils down to money or it comes down to money so it's all about money so it's about money so money is uh, the reason money is the reason okay blow up they blew up that building so it was absolutely terrible so they blew up it means they put a bomb they put a bomb and it exploded it exploded there was an explosion Oh, well, burn down, so means burn down the house, burn down house or building completely. So this verb can be regular or irregular, burned or burnt. They burned down the house or they burned down the house, okay? Uh, do over, do over, uh, you see, uh, it means to do it again. I have to do it over or I have to redo it, to do it again, so I'm afraid. Shut up. So it sounds rude, yeah, close your mouth, close your mouth, shut up. 
uh, point out we often use this phrase in speaking so just you know remember this phrase I'd like to point out that it means I'd like to say that I'd like to say that it was the right decision throw away so you throw away unnecessary things I threw it away I didn't need it so we we often throw, throw some rubbish away next pick up I'll pick you up it means I'll collect you well so I'll pick you up hand up she was very rude and she hung up yeah it means to end a telephone uh, conversation suddenly so she put the phone down hand on or hold on it means wait hang on a second or hold on a second it means wait a second go through you see I've gone through lots of difficulties uh, it means uh, there were lots of difficulties in my life on my way uh, but you know I managed I managed to actually uh, go through them so everything yeah is okay everything is okay so I've gone through lots of difficulties there were lots of difficulties on my way uh, pass away so or die he passed away last year or he died last year pass out okay means uh, become unconscious or lose consciousness he passed out he felt really bad so he became unconscious move on so move on it means go ahead or go on let's move on to the next point yeah so let's uh, yeah talk or let's uh, about the next point or let's discuss it bring back it brings me back very happy memories it means that uh, i start actually i start thinking about it i remember it I remember these happy memories again, uh, which actually, which are in my past. Yes, they are, they are in my past, not um, not now. Okay, burst out. We say burst out doing something, usually laughing or crying. So he burst out laughing. It means that he started laughing suddenly, or he burst out crying but burst into something burst into something she burst into tears or she burst uh, out crying yeah uh, he burst out laughing or uh, he burst uh, into laughter okay well so calm down yeah calm down don't worry it means relax relax uh, don't worry okay or uh, work out work out so you see it means to do physical exercises I often work out at the gym so yeah so I often met this phrase uh, work out at the gym so I do physical exercises at the gym I go there to keep fit make up it means invent uh, create I made up a very interesting story it means that this story is in, in my imagination or was in my imagination I've just made up all the sentences, made up, so I just um, you know, built all these sentences. Uh, make up for, so means compensate, compensate, okay, uh, compensate. How will he make up for it? How will he compensate? How he will, will he compensate it? So make out or understand. Or figure out I can't make out how it works I can't understand how it works or I can't figure out how it works uh, tell off yeah oh, he was told off or he was criticized sharply tell off means criticize put forward or suggest they put forward a very interesting idea so actually they suggested a very interesting idea call in visit uh, for a short time we called in to see him so we visited him with him for a short time cheer up so cheer up why are you sad why are you so sad it means so be happy be happy try to be happy don't be sad really why are you so sad turn back so it means return or get back so it was very late and we decided to turn back or to go home stick to yeah, just this phrase, stick to the idea, or I have this idea. I stick to the idea that it's the best solution for us. 
So it's the best, you know, way out for us. Uh, take up. So we usually take up a hobby. We take up doing something. You can say I took up tennis or I take up. I took up playing tennis. Yeah, if it's about the past, take up doing something. I took up playing tennis. Uh, get over or recover. So I hope you'll get over soon. So someone is ill, and I can tell him I hope you'll get over soon. Yeah. So get on means um, actually uh, to have uh, good uh, relationships. So I get on well with them. I get on well with your neighbors and you. So do you get on well with your neighbors? Do you have good relationships? So I get on the bus. I get on the bus. You s we say get on the bus, get on the train, and so on. The obvious phrasal verb is get off. I got off the bus. I got off the bus. Well, get out. You say I get out. It means leave this place. So leave this place. So get out of this room. So leave this room. Get in. So get in the car. We managed to get in. Yeah, to get inside. Uh, get into or enter. A university. I'd like to get into this university or I'd like to enter this university. It means that uh, you'd like to study there. Uh, get back. Let's get back to our discussion. Let's get back to our discussion. Okay, so let's get back. Oh, they got back. They returned. Get back to. It's another phrase of verb. Um, let's get back to our discussion. Let's get back to, you know, um, to our discussion. Yeah, to what we were going to do okay get down so you see uh, it gets me down so I feel depressed it makes me feel depressed it makes me feel depressed it gets me down okay really yeah well done well done so what is next well I remember that we have already talked about uh, get back uh, so let's choose uh, another phrasal verb instead of it. So be into, be into. It means uh, to really like something. So I'm into English. I'm into English. Uh, it means that uh, I really like it. I really like it. I'm into English. I really like English. Yeah, and uh, I'm ready to spend lots of time in it. Be into. Well, get along or get on. Yeah, to have a good relationships. So get on, get along very well with him. Okay. Account for or explain. How can you account for it or how can you explain it? Uh, get by uh, means um, to earn something for a living. Yeah. So she doesn't have enough money to get by. So it means that she doesn't have enough money for a living to buy, you know, basic uh, food. Yeah, to pay for her flat. So things like that. So we need to help her. Uh, get away means escape. So they got away with this money. So they escaped and they weren't punished. They were unpunished. Come up with. I came up with a very interesting idea. Or uh, I came up with a very interesting solution. So it means that uh, I had a very interesting idea. And we also remember come up against yeah so I come I came up against lots of difficulties it means there were lots of difficulties on my way so you can say come up against or run up against I ran up lots of I ran up against lots of difficulties yeah it means that actually there were lots of difficulties on my way okay just yeah some more information yeah come up against yeah I came up against lots of difficulties but I overcame all this but overcame it means that uh, so everything was okay or you can also say run up against run up against we've talked about it run up okay run up against run up against mix up or confuse mix up or confuse so don't mix up these words don't confuse these words uh, count down on means reduce or reduce. I think I need to cut down on chocolate. I need to reduce uh, the amount of chocolate. Yeah, I eat. Drop out. Yeah, she dropped out of college. Uh, so she didn't uh, finish it. She didn't finish it. So, so she left it earlier. She left it earlier. She stopped studying there. Okay, okay. lie down. 
I'm really tired, I'd like to lie down for a while or for some time. Well, so keep up with or catch up with, so to reach or to have the same level. I can't keep up with you, please do it more slowly, so I can't do it, you know, as uh, fast as you. Keep on or continue, keep on doing it, hold up or delay, hold up or delay, we were held up or we were delayed. It happened because of heavy traffic, so we were held up in a trap in a traffic jam. Throw up or vomit, she threw up or she vomited. Take in or deceive, he was taken in or he was deceived. So someone deceived him, someone tricked him. Uh, settle down, yeah, or calm down, so it's very similar yeah, to it, calm down, okay. So I think he'll get married soon and then he'll settle down. I think he'll get married soon and then he'll settle down or then he, he'll calm down. So he was run over, run over, yeah, it means uh, uh, by a car, uh, by a car or lorry or lorry. So it hit him, it hit him, it hit him run away or escape, escape, so they ran away with the stolen money, so they es escaped, yeah, you see, run into or bump, bump into, I ran into him or I met him, so unexpectedly, to meet someone, it means to meet someone unexpectedly, to meet someone unexpectedly, okay, so I ran into him or unexpectedly, right or I bumped into him. Well, put down, criticize, yeah, they often put him down, they often criticize him. Move in, move into you know, a flat or into a house. We are moving in next month. Knock out, so he was knocked out. For example, that boxer, yeah, that boxer, dur during the fight, during the fight they were fighting, and then he was knocked down, so he was beaten. Well, put together, I need to put this bookcase together. So there are many details and I need to have one bookcase. I need to put all these, you know, uh, details uh, into one part. They need to put it together. Come along, it means uh, join, join us or come with us. So if you're here, or oh, come along with me, it means that uh, join me, join me, come there, uh, go there with me, go there with me, join me. Uh, well, so buy up, buy up, it means uh, buy all pieces, buy all uh, things, buy all things, buy something completely. All the salt was bought up, bought up, so it means that someone bought all the salt, so completely. Sell out. It also means sell something completely, okay? Sell, sell something, sell uh, something uh, completely, okay? So all the sugar was sold out. Uh, dress up, so I think almost uh, all the kids like dressing up, uh, yeah, okay? I mean that uh, put on uh, some funny clothes, so put on some funny clothes or uh, costumes, okay, uh, but you know that dress up has also the second meaning, so it means that uh, uh, put on formal clothes and dress down. Dress down means to put on informal clothes. So I like uh, dress dressing down, so or I like wearing you know something informal or casual clothes. Cut off, okay. So the electricity was cut off. The electricity was cut off. So we had electricity and then so we didn't have it. So there was some problem. There was some problem and uh, it was cut off.